How are we gonna get to breakfast with all these dogs in the way? Welcome to my beautiful unschool life. I run a homeschool in Ontario, Canada, but right now my girls and I are in Uganda, Africa. We are here helping to establish an unschool at the Bush Baby Lodge in Mukono. And so far we've been here for a week and it's just been the most fantastic week. <laughs> We've had so much fun. So part of what I'm doing here is trying to teach what unschooling is, both to Neil and Alice who run um, Bush Baby Lodge and to the two teachers who I'm working with. To me, a big part of unschooling is removing this idea that learning is something that happens from books, that learning is something that is given to you by a teacher, and really embracing the idea that everything you do is learning. Every part of your day is educational. Initially, the teachers asked me what curriculum I follow. And Alice said, oh, no, no, the curriculum is in Aaron's head. And I said, well, not really, actually. The curriculum is in the children's heads. <laughs> My job is to just give them the vocabulary that goes with what they're doing, is to identify the learning experiences in what they're doing. So if you watch what children do, throughout the day and think carefully what lessons are they learning with everything they do. So a big part of the girls coming here, they're learning how to keep up with the boys <laughs> when it comes to outdoor play. So Bethany's learning how to pump a swing, which I've wanted to teach her for ages, but she just hadn't been ready to learn it. Bethany's becoming a much better bike rider than she was before. And Abby's decided that she wants to learn how to ride her bike, where she's never been interested in the past. They're really learning to build their physical skills. They're working on balance. They're working on climbing. And when they Bethany, work on these the things, top. they're learning so much. They're learning about their physical strength. They're learning about their emotional strength. They're developing confidence in their own abilities to learn something new and to work hard at something and improve. 
They're learning resilience. So they're learning not to give up when they fail at something. They're learning teamwork. They're learning to help each other when they need help. They're learning empathy. They're learning to care about the feelings of their friends Elijah. when they're upset or when they're hurt. It's funny because the traditional approach to education really holds on to this idea that the core skills that children need to learn at this age are writing and reading and math. But I would argue that these are the core skills that you need to be learning at this age. That you need to be learning nice. physical strength and emotional strength and resilience and empathy. You did it all in one pull. I would argue that these lessons should come before learning how to read and learning how to do math. I mean, can you even imagine what kind of world we would have if we all spent our formative years building our empathy and compassion and resilience and independence instead of being tied to a desk in a classroom where we can't even use the toilet without asking for permission? Don't get me wrong, we do have some desk work, but it's always because they chose it, because they have some skill that they want to develop, because they see the need for that skill. That's the one they or sometimes just because it's fun. Like this is the treasure hunt game, where I draw a map and I hide something and I mark it on the map with an X, uh, which develops their um, spatial, orientation well, and their ability to read a map. Eventually I'd like to get them so, drawing their own maps. There. That's maybe further down the line. Anyways, that's it for my ranting for today. Now you can enjoy some pretty pictures of Uganda. <laughs>